So over the past couple decades, AI and generative neural networks have emerged as very powerful tools for image restoration. These tools have already been applied for years to aid conservators in envisioning how restorations might look, given the artist's original style. I'm Alex Kashkin. I am an engineer in the mechanical engineering department at MIT, and I'm also an art collector and a art conservator. So starting with existing AI tools, we can create a digitally restored version of the painting. What I can then do is derive a infill mask pattern from comparing those two images together, the damaged version and the restored version, and identifying the damages that human vision is most sensitive to, and also the kinds of damages that we can restore given the physical properties of a physical laminate mask. Humans can really readily discern alignment errors in the applied mask, and so at a certain scale, we can't restore damages if they're too small. So the mask consists of several layers, including a white backing layer and then a color layer to achieve the color spectrum we need. And those layers are printed on very thin polymers that are bound together by conservation grade varnish. And once the mask was applied, the painting was visually restored. Um, it was a lot quicker than doing so manually. That was really fun and also unexpected because usually when I restore paintings, I allocate months for doing so. I also wanted to know how long this applied mask would last, so I tested out another mask in an accelerated UV incubation chamber, and what I found was that the mask would be reasonably able to survive for a century if it was kept in appropriate lighting. This is perhaps one of the rare cases where the application of AI to transfer styles from other artists, that application here is actually very ethical. I'm sure the original artists would have appreciated it, and this is a particularly good use of technology, as restoring damages isn't really creating new art so much as bringing old art back into good shape.